Prime Minister Mama Mbabazi was the first to appear before the Oil Probe Committee. He first angered members when he gave them a copy of his presentation and opted to answer only either yes or no to all questions without any further elaborations. If his answer to your question is yes or no, and expect him to expound through the question you are putting to him, then he's being evasive. You carry the burden of explaining what he said. I want to see as the object the way one of us has presented his answers. Let him get back and prepare himself properly well, then he can come and we engage in a uh, the Members threatened to throw him out, but later recalled him for a session that lasted about five hours. Mbabazi denied allegations that he was involved in any dealings with oil companies. No, let alone received bribes. I was not paid. I have answered. I did not, for instance, facilitate meetings between N and Talo. That's all I can do. I don't have more information on it. Ask those who say so. He also denied any links to Mineral Services Limited, a company that handles logistics for Talo Oil. He rubbished claims that he had private meetings in Dubai and London with officials of some oil companies. This is fiction. The figment of someone's imagination. There's nothing like that. It's not true. Actually, I've never even heard of it today in the first time I'm hearing. Mbabazi expressed his dissatisfaction at the process of investigation by parliament. He says it is not correct in principle for the legislature to be the accuser, the investigator, the judge and the executioner. At 4 p.m., former energy minister Hilary Neck walked in also denying all allegations against him. He clarified that recent accusations that he's pushing for an oil pipeline for Uganda as opposed to a refinery was not true. He told the committee that the pipeline project was meant for Congolese oil, not Uganda's. The Congolese were interested in the passage, in the way a passage to enable their oil to be passing through Uganda and Kenya for export to whichever country. Not Uganda paying for the pipeline. The pipeline was fully to be financed by Congolese because it's their pipeline. He also called on the ad hoc committee to take stern action against petitioners once allegations against them are found to be baseless. The Prime Minister, Mama Mbabazi, and the former Energy Minister, Hilary Nek, today told the ad hoc committee investigating the oil sector that the allegations brought against them are mere blackmail and intended to divert Parliament from the real corruption issues. Michael Baleke, 